Now we've already talked about using multiplication to find uh, combinations of different things. Um, we talked about using tables and arrays. Well, today I'm going to talk about tree diagrams. Tree diagrams uh, are is another strategy for finding combinations with multiplication. So if you have a problem that we've already seen before, you have three ice cream flavors and three choices of fruit topping. How many different ways can you combine these flavors and toppings so that you only have one flavor of ice cream and one fruit topping? Now if you have all of these different choices for flavors and toppings, how many different ways can you combine one flavor and one topping? Well, this is a tree diagram. A tree diagram shows each of the three flavors and has lines that connect to each of the toppings. And you'll notice that the toppings, there are only three to choose from, and so they repeat. For the first flavor, there are the three toppings. For the second flavor of ice cream, there are the same three toppings to choose from. And the third ice cream flavor has the same three toppings to choose from. So if you were to write the flavor the, um, over and over again, you would end up with an array or a table. But since you have them spaced out and connected with lines, it gives it more of the, a tree look to it. And for some people, this is a much easier strategy to see all of the different ways to combine them. Now here, you have all of the different combinations. You can have mango and banana, mango and berry, mango and peach. Notice, that's three different combinations. Now if you change the flavor to strawberry, you can have strawberry and banana, strawberry and berry, strawberry and peach. That's three more combinations for a total of six combinations. But there's a third flavor, and if you combine uh, that flavor with any of the three toppings, you have another three options, the combinations. That's a total of nine combinations, and you can see them all listed here. So three flavors times three toppings equals nine combinations. That's where the multiplication comes in. That's the, that's the shortcut that shows how multiplication can come in handy in saving you the time of writing out all of the different flavors, all of the different toppings, and all of the combinations. If you know that multiplying one choice times the second choice, then you're going to get the total number of combinations between those two choices. So when you start to get word problems that talk about how many different ways can you combine two things, you are going to be shown either a chart, an array, a table, or a tree diagram. And you can remember that multiplying option one times option two will give you the total number of combinations.